so in the previous video we have uh, created our function module and uh, also a function group okay so in this video we will learn how to consume that function module in a program basically a report in sap above okay so the t code for creating a report in sap is se38 okay you have to enter slash SC38 and click on the enter button okay and thereafter uh, this screen will get opened up and uh, we are giving a program name that is zprog underscore calculate click on the create button okay give a program name suppose uh, consuming function module in report okay and it's an executable type of a program so select executable and just click on the save button and select the local package local object basically okay fine now what we will be doing over here we have created a function module so let's go to the function module tab that we have created earlier okay so slash o sc 37 so, and the function module that we have created is uh, let's enter it z cal fm okay with display so this is the function module which we have created so far okay now we will be consuming it in our report let's see so in order to consuming uh, the function module in our report we'll just have to click on the pattern option and there is a many option you will be getting one is call function above objects pattern message and many other things are there which we will be covering in the later point of these courses okay so initially uh, we have copied the function module name we'll just paste it over here let cal underscore fm in the call function and just click on the enter button so as you can see automatic code has been generated by sap over here you don't have to write what is the importing parameter what is the exporting parameter okay so what you can do is you just select all those things and these are basically commented okay just uncomment them just select the control button and the greater than arrow yeah it would become uncommented so you can see here by automatically 5 and 2 is there okay if I ask you why 5 and 2 is automatically over there, yep, the answer is very simple. It's the default value that we have set in the function module. If you can see over here, we have set 5 and 2 as a default value. That's why they are over here. Okay. So what we can do is we can choose a parameter for here. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I'll be designing a selection screen having uh, two parameters that is parameter one and parameter two from which the user will provide the input and will pass that input to the function module and the result will get computed in the function module and will provide the desired output. Fine. So let's do how it is. So we'll follow the convention P underscore P stands for parameter P underscore param one. Okay. Type of i p underscore type of i param 2 okay you can give it a any name you can give it parameter or anything suppose parameter suppose i have given it pair okay yeah. suppose p underscore value 1 p underscore value 2 okay type i now you might ask why i have given here type i why not care okay i'll also tell you that why have not i haven't taken here as character type variable why have i taken integer type variable right let's wait so we can directly specify p value one over here p value two over here okay, let me see what happens uh, okay condition there is a condition also okay we have to type condition p underscore c n d condition type c care 2 i'll tell you why i have taken it care 2 also 
let me first initialize all those values okay export term a data e underscore exp type i yes yes we are done now check yes we are not getting any kind of error now now the reason behind taking p value as integer p condition as character 2 is very simple you always have to maintain this whatever type that has been mentioned in your function module see it is of integer 4 it's a basically integer type of a variable right and uh, it is condition it is character 2 the same data type you have to take over in your program if you do not take if i suppose make it a character type as the parameter okay then the my function module will give throw an exception what exception it would give me a type conflict exception am i clear to everyone okay now uh, see these are the exporting parameters why exporting because we are sending this p value 1 p value 2 and condition we are sending it we are not importing it we are sending it we are exporting these values from our program to the function module and in function module in which tab will it get entered it will get into the importing parameters see it is exporting since we are sending all this information from our program so if you double click on the function module you will see that here it is in importing parameters see in the import tab okay the same thing is true for the importing parameters as well so the function module is providing me something so with respect to the function module if we see it is exporting e params right it is exporting it but for if you look uh, from the program point of view we are what we are importing whatever it is exporting from the function module we are just importing it okay and these are the exception if you have seen my last video i request you please go and check my last video it would be very much helpful for you for creation of a function module and give you a proper concept okay so here we have handled some kind of a exception like uh, if you are if we are not passing any kind of condition or divide by zero problem okay so for that we have handled some exception let's activate it now then simply no okay now we have passed the data to the function module now we wanted to see the result so our result is getting passed from the function module in this variable e underscore exp okay let's simply write so the write statement will simply write uh, the result into our selection screen the result of value 1 and value 2 is this huh? okay right yeah okay some kind of a syntax error i'm getting let me modify it a bit this is the latest uh, inline 7.5 syntax that we are using okay for the right statement okay fine that is not giving me error let me activate it now let us execute it and uh, see 10 20 and let me do an add for add we have used a right let us see result of 10 20 is 30 right it is uh, providing the result then and 20 is 30 okay, fine let us activate it and execute it again 20 30 and now we will multiply the result of 20 and 50 is 1000 okay 
now what about divide let's see that as well i'll show you all the case it is five now what if i am providing it zero what happens let's see oh, oh, oh. the result of 100 and 0 is 0 but we have handled an exception right in our function module so what happens here now we'll have to check the size of rc size of rc will result if it is 0 if there is no issue there is no exception in the function module then they should get executed okay else and if else this exception will have to be handled else we can write like if size of rc now let us debug and let make you understand how it is working actually you know let us put a debugger over here click on the execute button press 10 make it blank make it divide p let's see what happens t it is calling my function module f5 press f5 this is the f5 press here this is 0 it is divide by 0 this exception is getting raised immediately size of rc value is 2 so cannot divide by 0 so it would go to this condition am i clear so we have to handle this as well in our code so let's handle this it's very easy if size of rc is equal to 0 else size of rc is equals to 1 else if size of rc is equals to 2 okay now handle the same let's simply write the exception cannot divide by zero exception has been increased okay and for this let's activate and execute and okay. again it's not working what happened now let's divide let's execute see cannot divide by zero exception has been done but what happened if we don't pass this this has happened because we have not handled this it should be handled okay see we are not passing any of this anything so we'll have to put a debugger over there pass 10 Whenever there is an issue in above, we will just use a debugger tool and then we'll check what's the issue. So it is resulting me 10. Okay. Let's see how it is. We are passing condition as blank. We are passing as blank. Okay. See, here we have passed by default operation equal to 2. If we are not passing any kind of condition, by default it is 2. That's why the result is 2. Okay. Okay. See how debugging helps a lot in such scenarios. So, what we will be doing over there, let's comment it. Okay. Let's comment it. Let's comment this and uh, comment this part also in the function module and just uncomment this. We'll want, we wanted to throw an exception basically we wanted to throw an exception let me activate this fm okay and uh, now let's execute it and with the same thing let's pass only parameter one and see the exception has been raised voila okay fine this is for the video hope you enjoyed the video in this just for a quick recap like uh, if the main important thing is whenever you are passing a function module from a program okay you'll have to ensure that whatever parameter data type is there specified in the function module the same data type should be in your program or else you would get a type conflict issue let me show you once okay knowledge should be practical not theoretical
the ideology which I follow. So let's see. Let execute. Okay. You'll not get any kind of syntax error, remember, but you'll get an exception thrown by the SAP. Let's execute it. See, a type conflict exception has been raised. Right? Let's see how it is. See, here it has been clearly specified. The field P value 1 specified has a different value, different field type. Okay. So this type of thing is known as a conflict, type conflict during a function module call. This can be easily resolved if you, this thing can be easily resolved if you change the data type to I again. Okay. Change the data type to I again. Click on the activate button and execute. Then I'm to and then exception is raised simply or you can do a a for addition okay that's all for today's video thank you